I'm Ron Jaworski, president of Maxwell Football Club, and I'd like to welcome everyone here to Harris Atlantic City for the 74th annual Maxwell Football Club Awards Dinner. I think only Milt Halstead's been here for all 74 dinners. <laughs> Milt, don't be mad at me. Uh, we've got an unbelievable program in store for today. As many of you know that have been here through the years, the Maxwell Football Club honors football at all levels, professional, collegiate, high school, and in fact this year we have the Arena Football League back with us as well. So all levels of football get honored by the Maxwell Football Club. And I know there are a lot of dinners, there are a lot of events, there are a lot of things going around that honor football, but no one honors the game more than the Maxwell Football Club. 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, we honor those great players, coaches, and administrators that love and promote the game of football. Guys, I'm deeply indebted from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very much. And now I'll bring Lou Tilly up to handle the rest of the program. Uh, thank you on behalf of all of us here at the Maxwell Football Club for joining us. Let's quickly run through our winners. As Ron has mentioned, we honor ball players on all of the levels, from the high school, which is the grassroots of the Maxwell Football Club 74 years ago, uh, to the colleges and to the pros. And let's begin with the pros. The winner of the Greasy Neal Award this year is the Professional Coach of the Year is the Eagles, Andy Reid. Many of you don't remember, but when Andy Reid came to the Eagles in 1998, he was following an, following an Eagle offense that was statistically the worst the NFL had seen in six seasons. Fast forward 12 years, the Eagles this past year go 12-6 and six in a year where people were optimistically predicting a 500 year. Andy Reid, with a 6'10 career winning percentage now, ranks in the top 15 among coaches with 150 plus regular season wins. And Andy Reid has now won more games, this surprised me, than George Seifert, George Allen, and Don Coryell. Andy Reid, our Pro Coach of the Year. And one of the most impressive things, as you all know, this year was in his nurturing and uh, some would say the gamble he took in bringing Michael Vick back to the forefront, not just of the Eagles, but of the NFL. The Burt Bell Award winner this year is our Pro Player of the Year, Michael Vick. Someone wrote that when Michael Vick wants to unwind and get away from it all, he often likes to get on a boat and go fishing. In January, he reeled in his biggest catch perhaps in years, the 52nd annual Burt Bell Award as the Pro Player of the Year. Winning the honor, an exclamation point, of course, in a remarkable second season as the Philadelphia Eagle, the driving force of the organization's NFC East title run and franchise record, 439 points. And we are so very, very happy to have him with us on many, many levels. Michael Vick, thank you. Well, uh, my name is Tom DeFelice. Uh, I'm a school teacher at Bach Technical High School in South Philadelphia. Uh, 43 years as a teacher and a coach there. Very proud to be a public school teacher in the city of Philadelphia. Uh, I think a lot of times uh, the students and athletes get a, a bad rap in the sense that maybe there's something wrong going into our schools, but I think uh, there are so many positive things that are going on in our Philadelphia schools that it goes unrecognized. And the Maxwell Club is just one of those many uh, organizations which actually puts a positive influence on some of the negativity that goes on throughout the city. And I just would like to thank the Maxwell Club for not just honoring me, but honoring our school, Bach, honoring Philadelphia, honoring the Philadelphia public school system. And uh, to be here has been such a thrill. Uh, I keep telling my wife to pinch me to make sure I know where I'm at. And to my son, Chris, who's also a school teacher in the city of Philadelphia at Edison High School, uh, we feel so proud to be part of this program and to be part of Philadelphia. We have 100% participation from our award winners. That is unparalleled in this country. To get every single award winner on the day, it's the same day, it's night. It's going to be special.